are you trolling asking me why I am vegan? The question is not why I am vegan. The question is uh, why are you not vegan? Want you to cause extremely amount of suffering to innocent living beings? How have harmed you never in your whole lifetime? Why want you? I ask you, why want you to be responsible for the most biggest holocaust ever in existence? It is not unnecessary. So there is no excuse for it. You can be healthy easily eating plants. And if you then go up with a arbitrary horse shit, sorry for the horses, by saying that plants have feelings, plants have no central nervous system or brain or connected to a brain. But you know what I mean. Want you to be responsible and paying for the most biggest environmentally disaster ever. The animal agriculture industry is responsible for 51, and I repeat, 51% of all the greenhouse gas emissions. 51. 91% of all the deforestation is because of animal agriculture. 70% to 75% dependent on study of that is for cattle ranching. The other 60, uh, 16 to 21% dependent on study is for feeding. It's for feed. It's for feed for the animals. Soy and corn and oats and other such things. Please people. Awaken. And all the ocean death zones. Now check out my in my video number two about why I'm still vegan. I explain in very much detail why and what is the most biggest cost of ocean death zones in that video. Very interested. I say check it out. But I can say you, it is because of animal agriculture. But if you want to have more details, check this video out. It's about, uh, the whole section is about uh, five minutes long, um, where I talk about that topic, but the whole video is around eight minutes long. Why won't you to cause intentional suffering and destruction on a massive scale? Why? Are you sadistic? Are you evil? Are you worshipping serial killers? Like Ted Bundy? Do you think Jeffrey Dahmer was completely right in his mind when he caused unnecessary suffering? And killed people? And this statement maybe shock you. But animals are people. They have a personality of their own. And even Albert Einstein have recognized that when he say all animals are people. Some animals are hominid people. But the latter is true. All animals are people. Even Leonardo da Vinci recognized that in his time. How was vegan and his heart uh, disease kind problems where like some people claim that he has died from is not because he was consuming animals it was because he sleeps little to nothing sometimes he sleeps just one hour if he was working on his heart or if he was conducting his research there's also very good for getting uh, heart disease and other kind of illnesses. That does not prove anything. No. Check out his um, pieces on animal rights in his diary. And specifically read those. I'll say. You call yourself the king of the animals. It is better to call yourself the king of the beasts. 
for, for your brutality exceeds theirs. We live by the death of others. We are very old places, graveyards. There will come one day that men like me look at the murder of animals like they now look on the murder of men. Like William Inch once said, We have treated our cousins and feathers and fur in such a horrible way that if there ever will form a night and organize religion, they will pick the devil in hominid man's form. And this is the absolute truth. They must look us to us like we are devils. It is not to be dramatical. But we enslave them. We use them in, sign, in unscientific experiments called fifth section. We turn them into commodities. We make skin, leather from a leather skin jackets from their flesh from the upper layer of flesh from the skin we humiliate them in uncivilized cultural barbarity like rodeos circuses and a matador arena bullfighting or other barbaric traditions like murdering of whales. Isn't man not an amazing animal? He murders in cold blood and still claims he is moral, decent, and civilized. He murders more other living beings from another species than there ever have lived members of their own species in one year and he still have the audacity to claim he know right from wrong all oh, humanity come to your humility go vegan what's the excuse for costing the least amount of harm possible on the planet always be vegan there's no excuse against veganism so I ask you, why are you not? It is not necessary, it is cruel, it costs extremely amount of environmental damage on a skill you don't can even fully understand or grasp, I suggest. So want you to be evil to them? Want you to be the devil to them? I don't want. I don't want to live in a world where people come away with extremely amount of savage cruelty to innocent living beings. I want to live in a world where people stand up for victims and where people don't stand up for victimizers. I don't want to live in a world where rapists get away with rape. I don't want to be in a world where murderers come away with murder. I don't want to live in a world where people cause unnecessarily massive amount of suffering to living beings who have nothing harmed them or anybody else ever in the whole existence, specifically if it be not a good reason for the act of malice. Take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor. Nothing the victims. Silence incurs the tormentor. Nothing the tormented. It is easy to see what is right or wrong. A compassion's defense of innocent life is a force for good. Sadistic destruction of innocent life is a force for evil. Stand on the side of the oppressed. Since the oppressed 
is the site of justice. Peace begins on the dinner table, by what you eat on a daily basis. I see you next time.